And right now we want to take you back to Shanksville, Pennsylvania. And a Fox News alert as we look at the podium on a very rainy day there in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. That, as you might remember, is where Flight 93, the fourth of the hijacked planes on September 11th, crashed. It was headed for a target here in Washington when the passengers who had heard about what happened on the other planes but we all know revolted for lack of a better term and uh, took on the hijackers and the plane then crashed there in Shanksville. We're waiting for Tom Ridge, who became then the first secretary of Homeland Security following 9-11. That's right. And he's now the national co-chairman of the Flight 93 National Memorial fundraising campaign responsible for this bell tower that is being dedicated today. And you know, Leland, for folks that have never driven through Shanksville, Pennsylvania, it is a beautiful, quaint part of the state, kind of rural. Um, and I happened to be driving through there not too long ago and was surprised that it really is just a, 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 an almost unmarked turn of the road to get down there to this little spot. I almost, uh, I almost missed it. So uh, to have this tower there erected and this memorial taking place in two days, uh, I think is going to be so nice for the family and friends who lost someone on that crew. And there are 40 passengers and crew of Flight 9, the family and friends, uh, 40 of them representing the 40 passengers and crews of Flight 93 will be going up the Tower of Voices and ring uh, the installed chimes that are there. There are eight right now, but eventually the plan is to have 40 total chimes to pay tribute to the, the 40 passenger and crew. Lost. President Trump will be there uh, on Tuesday for what is the 17th anniversary of 9-11. And you and I were talking earlier that it's hard to imagine it has been 17 years. We all remember where we were yeah. that day. And to think of how much has changed over that time, uh, is incredible also to think that since then uh, and it's always important to remember on 9 11 those who were lost then but those who have been lost since in the war on terror that america's longest war continues and whether it be uh army special forces uh yep. in and around afghanistan whether it be uh, marines on the ground in syria whether it be navy seals on the ground in iraq uh, American men and women in harm's way uh, continue now, mm -hmm. 17 years after the events we will memorialize in a couple of minutes. And right. how much the government's changed. Tom, yeah. Ridge, Tom Ridge, who was the governor of Pennsylvania, yeah. now becomes yeah. Homeland Security well, uh, and, Secretary. And back to your point on Afghanistan, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis was there just this week on the ground, and he landed at a time of tremendous violence in the country. You had uh, a U.S. service member killed killed on Monday by somebody that a member of the Afghan forces that he was sent there to try to train. Uh, you had twin bombings on Wednesday. You had another attack on Thursday. Uh, Afghanistan still a very volatile, volatatile war, our longest. Well, Afghanistan has been a very volatile place for the past couple thousand years right. as well. Um, and there was, there's been a lot of questions as whether whether we were going to be able to change that. Um, we are going to keep our eye there on the ceremony in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Back to Shanksville when Tom Ridge uh, takes the podium there. Meantime, Fox News alert, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, the United 93 Memorial, former Secretary of Homeland Security, Tom Ridge. ...began to surround me, and louder still than the piercing sirens of those emergency vehicles that had rushed to the scene, hoping to help. It was the brutal, and I think sometimes unbearable sound of silence, of quiet. Now, years later, isn't it marvelous? Isn't it powerful? Isn't it wonderful that there will now be an everlasting concert by our heroes under the sky and under the stars, whether it rains or whether the sun shines? Grieve not, they will chime, nor speak of me with tears. But laugh and talk of me as if I were beside you there. So let us grieve not, for they are beside us here. They are the docents and they are the caretakers of this glorious memorial. They are the chorus of 40 voices in harmony and tempo with a gentle wind. Every day, 
Their music will sweep across acreage of earth and etched stone, across wildflowers and hemlock trees, rain or shine. Their music will calm and comfort us. Abraham Lincoln once said, a nation that does not honor its heroes will not long endure. It's not that he thought we needed more ceremonies and monuments. Rather, being a great storyteller himself, Lincoln believed in the power of story to teach, to inspire, to heal. There was a plane. It began to veer off course in speed toward the U.S. Capitol. It didn't reach its target because on board were 40 extraordinary people who brought together by chance stood up against evil. They fought for the families they loved, for people they never knew, and for freedoms they had cherished. It was September 11th. And it marked the day that lives were lost so that lives were saved. And heroes were made over the skies of Shanksville. At the end of the day, the story of Flight 93 is also quite simply the story of 40 people who shared our lives, our kitchen tables, our schools, our workplaces, and yes, most importantly, our hearts. They had big dreams. They had big dreams for their time here on this earth. And we had big dreams for them as well. But if you listen closely, we'll hear their voices. Grieve not, nor speak of me with tears but laugh and talk of me as if I were beside you there. So heroes, as we join with you in the dedication of your tower, and as you speak to us with every chime, and you wave to us with every breeze, as you stroll with us through the wild flowers and the hemlock trees, we continue to wish you peace. You have our love, our respect, our admiration, our gratitude, and our promise, our solemn promise, that future generations will know your names. You are our heroes in a story that will be forever told. Former Secretary of Homeland Security Tom Ridge dedicating part of the memorial at Shanksville, Pennsylvania to United Flight 93. President Trump heading to Shanksville on Tuesday for the 17th anniversary of 9-11. The coverage of this ceremony continues with a live stream on Facebook.